So we all know Tyrannosaurus rex is the apex predator of its place and time. Everyone knows its standard beef with the Triceratops, and I've even gone through its potential of hunting the mighty sauropod Alamosaurus. But how about its second most famous adversary, the walking tank, the Ankylosaurus. Good day ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host bringing you today's video of if Tyrannosaurus rex hunted Ankylosaurus, and if it did, was it actively doing so, and if so, how exactly would it do it? As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's hit the time machine. It's been depicted in numerous documentaries the endless rivalry between the largest megatheropod and the living tank. But before we jump too deeply into this topic, let's quickly outline these two dinosaurs. The Tyrannosaurus rex was unchallenged during its existence, growing around 12 meters long, 4 meters tall, and 8.8 .8 tons in weight. Now of course as with time, size estimates will change, but hey, that's my average Tyrannosaur. It had the strongest jaws of any animal to walk our planet, as well as the senses and intelligence to back it up. Now as for our armoured friend, let's just say its size is a bit controversial. Some would believe it to rival the Rex, but it seems more likely that it was quite a bit smaller. It also seems to have had quite a bit of a size range to it, particularly in the weight department. And Kylosaurus may have been able to grow between 6 to 10 metres in length, and 1.4 meters at the hips. Its weight is far more speculative as it seems to have reached around two to six tons. However, more recent studies such as a journal article made by Victoria M. Arbor and Jordan C. Mallon have placed upper estimates of this herbivore at around eight tons, although the higher weight was noted to be taken as a speculation rather than a concrete weight. Still, it was armoured with osteoderms or scutes, which embedded its skin as well as having a club at the end of its tail. Currently, it's speculated that their clubs were primarily used for intraspecific combat rather than against predators, but trust me when I say that they were still effective weapons to ward off most predators. Both lived over 60 million years ago in the late Cretaceous in North America. But now that we've established their size and that they did indeed coexist, let's get into if Tyrannosaurus hunted these walking armories. Well, some of you might be surprised to know that we don't actually have evidence of Tyrannosaurus interacting with Ankylosaurs, unlike Triceratops and Edmontosaurus. Before this video ends before it even gets off the ground, it's alright, as Ankylosaurus is quite a rare dinosaur to find, so for us to get lucky enough to find some sort of remains with clear evidence of interaction with the T-Rex would be extremely, and I mean extremely lucky. But we don't so far, yet it's A-OK. -okay. This doesn't mean that hunting didn't occur, it just means that we don't have clear evidence of how T-Rex hunted these tanks. I'm of the belief that T-Rex was certainly capable of hunting down an Ankylosaurus. I mean, we can see that even on the higher ends, Ankylosaurus wasn't quite as heavy as the average Rex, let alone the biggest ones. This gives our predator a distinct size advantage. Because of this, the predator-prey relationship wouldn't be like that of a sauropod, where adults would be near impossible to hunt. T-Rex most certainly would have been able to hunt Ankylosaurus if the situation demanded it. It wouldn't be the theropod's first option, nor second, nor third, but it would still be on the table. But since we don't have direct evidence of confrontation, it's hard to say for sure exactly how a fight between these two would go down. Luckily, not all hope is lost, as we can move to Asia to take a look at how their relatives may have interacted with each other. Here, we have Tarbosaurus and Tarsia, basically the Asian equivalent of T-Rex and Ankylosaurus, though they were a few notches smaller, Tarbo being around 4 tons and Archia being around 2 tons. Between these two, there is possible evidence of the strategy utilised to hunt Ankylosaurids by Tyrannosaurids, this speculative evidence being an injury in the skull that matched the tooth design of a Tarbosaurus. This translates to there likely being an interesting predator-prey relationship between Tyrannosaurids and Ankylosaurids, but how deeply did it go? Now we're on to discussing if T-Rex actively hunted Ankylosaurus. Considering the formidable Formidable armor and defensive weaponry of Ankylosaurus, it's plausible to question whether T-Rex would actually go ahead and actively hunt such well-protected prey items. The extensive bony plates covering its body along with the menacing club tail would have provided substantial protection against most predators. For T-Rex, actively hunting Ankylosaurus would have presented significant challenges and risks. Unlike other potential prey items such as hadrosaurs or ceratopsians, Ankylosaurus would have been more resistant to a T-Rex's typical predatory tactics. Engaging in a hunt with such a heavily armoured adversary would have increased the likelihood of sustaining serious injuries. This would potentially jeopardise its hunting ability or even to survive to see the next day. Not only this, but Ankylosaurus was built very close to the ground. This is a bit of a problem for a tall theropod to hunt, as they would have to move close enough to the ground to be able to reach a vital area. Also, just to compare its body to other prey items, it was low to the ground, smaller and more difficult to hunt, had armour along its body and had a club tail which was able to do some serious damage. 
Seeing this compared to Edmontosaurus or Triceratops, which I'm not going to downplay here as both were extremely dangerous, but they did have more meat to them. They were likely heavier, weren't completely covered in armor, and were higher up to the ground. And I think that not only would they be easier to hunt, but they would provide more sustenance for a Rex compared to a bony Anki. So that's my big reason as to why I think the Tyrannosaurus Rex wouldn't have hunted Ankies often, yet I still think it would have occurred occasionally. With the evidence from their Asian counterparts, it's plausible to speculate that T-Rex might have used similar hunting strategies against Ankylosaurus. The big thing is though, is the injury patterns observed in Asia could have been caused by intraspecific combat or an accidental collision, but we'll play devil's advocate in this situation and say that Tarbosaurus had delivered the injury. This would pretty much green light a valid hunting strategy that T-Rex would have likely taken as to aim for the skull would be honestly the smartest thing to do. I mean, its behind was protected by a club tail, and its body was covered in armor. The only other suggestions that I've seen is to try tip the Ankylosaurus over and to get its softer belly. But this seems far more dangerous as well as would have taken a lot more effort than simply going for the smaller skull. Though still protected, it would have been the most easiest and vital area for the Tyrannosaurus jaws to crush, ensuring the safest tactic on one of its most dangerous prey items. Therefore, while T-Rex may have been capable of hunting Ankylosaurus, the high risk and effort involved in targeting such a well-defended prey item would have made it a less favorable option compared to other less formidable prey species. T-Rex being an opportunistic hunter would have assessed the risks and benefits of hunting Ankylosaurus. While it was still capable of taking down such a prey item, the potential injuries involved in taking down such a heavily armored animal wouldn't have made it worthwhile unless it was desperate. It's also possible that T-Rex would have scavenged off carcasses of deceased Ankylosaurus rather than actively hunting them, scavenging would have provided T-Rex a valuable food source without the risk of injury. In conclusion, while the predatory prowess of Tyrannosaurus rex is widely acknowledged, the idea of actively hunting Ankylosaurus poses significant challenges. The formidable armor coupled with its low profile would have made it a risky and demanding prey for T-Rex. While speculative evidence from Asian counterparts suggests that Tyrannosaurus may have targeted Ankylosaurus, the lack of direct evidence of interactions between T-Rex and Ankylosaurus leaves much open to interpretation. Given the potential risks and effort that are involved, it's plausible that T-Rex would have favored hunting less formidable prey species over actively pursuing a tank. Ultimately, T-Rex behavior as an opportunistic hunter would have been influenced by a careful assessment of whether or not it would be worth targeting such an armored animal. Hence, while Tyrannosaurus Rex may have engaged in hunting adult Ankylosaurs opportunistically, it likely did not actively seek such a world defended prey item, rather aiming hadrosaurs, ornithopods, or even ceratopsians before trying to take down this guy. And with that, we've reached the end of the video. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed the content, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment below. Your support is greatly appreciated, and until next time, take care, and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.